Chapter 1. Contact In the year 2175, humanity had established its first successful colony on Mars. The Red Planet, once a distant dream, now bustled with life and innovation. Among the colonists were scientists, engineers, and adventurers, all working together to forge a new future for humanity. It was in this bustling colony that the unexpected occurred. One fateful day, while conducting routine scans of the Martian surface, the colony's advanced sensors picked up anomalous readings. A strange vessel, unlike any human design, had landed just beyond the colony's outskirts. The news spread like wildfire through the colony, stirring a mix of excitement and apprehension. Commander Ava Rivera, a seasoned astronaut and leader of the colony's defense force, was immediately dispatched to investigate. Clad in her sleek Martian recon suit, she led a team of experts towards the alien craft. As they approached, the vessel's hatch slowly opened, revealing beings unlike anything humanity had ever encountered. The aliens were tall and slender, with iridescent skin that shimmered in the Martian sunlight. Their large, expressive eyes darted around, taking in the unfamiliar surroundings. Despite their striking appearance, they seemed surprisingly calm as they cautiously stepped out onto the Martian soil. Ava approached the aliens with caution, raising her hand in a gesture of peace. Welcome to Mars, she greeted, her voice projected through the suit's communicator. The aliens glanced at each other briefly before one of them stepped forward, communicating in a series of melodic tones that were translated into Earth languages by the colony's AEI. We come in peace, the alien spokesperson said, their voice resonating with a hint of curiosity. We have traveled far to learn about your kind. Ava exchanged glances with her team, maintaining a calm demeanor despite the adrenaline coursing through her veins. We are honored by your visit, she replied, trying to hide her excitement. Is there something specific you wish to learn or experience? The alien spokesperson turned to their companions, and after a brief exchange, they looked back at Ava with a gleam of curiosity in their eyes. We have heard tales of a substance your kind consumes for recreation, they began, their translator struggling momentarily with the concept. Alcohol, we believe it is called. We wish to experience it for ourselves. Ava blinked in surprise, not expecting such a request. Alcohol? she repeated, considering the implications. It's... it's a beverage that affects the mind and body in various ways. Are you sure you want to try it? The aliens nodded, their curiosity unabated. We wish to understand your customs and your pleasures, the spokesperson explained. Will you show us? Ava glanced at her team, deliberating the implications of introducing extraterrestrial beings to a substance as potent as alcohol. Yet, she also understood the importance of cultural exchange and building bridges between civilizations. With a nod, she signaled for her team to lead the aliens back to the colony. As they walked, Ava couldn't help but wonder what lay ahead. Humanity's first contact with an alien species was not what she had envisioned but it presented an opportunity unlike any other. Chapter 2. The Experiment Back at the colony, preparations were swiftly made to accommodate the alien visitors. The Martian Research Center, typically a hub of scientific innovation, now buzzed with an entirely different kind of excitement. Scientists and engineers scrambled to set up a controlled environment where the aliens could safely experience alcohol, in a specially designated chamber, Ava and her team gathered with the aliens. The chamber was equipped with monitoring devices and safety protocols, ensuring that the experiment would proceed without incident. A selection of alcoholic beverages, carefully curated to represent various strengths and flavors, was laid out on a table before them. The alien delegation observed with quiet fascination as Ava explained the basics of alcohol consumption, Humans have been brewing and fermenting beverages for millennia, she began, gesturing towards the array of bottles. Each of these contains different types of alcohol, ranging from mild to strong. The aliens listened intently, 
their large eyes reflecting the ambient light in the chamber. Consuming alcohol can lead to various effects, Ava continued, her tone measured. It can induce feelings of relaxation, euphoria, or alter perception. The aliens exchanged glances before nodding in understanding. We are ready to proceed, the spokesperson declared, their curiosity overriding any hesitation. Ava nodded, motioning for one of the scientists to pour a small amount of the mildest alcohol into a glass. This is beer, she explained, as the scientist handed the glass to the alien spokesperson. It's a fermented beverage with a relatively low alcohol content. The spokesperson took the glass gingerly, observing the golden liquid within. With a nod of acknowledgement, they raised the glass to their mouth and took a cautious sip. The other aliens watched closely, their expressions unreadable. Moments passed in silence as the spokesperson savored the taste, processing the sensory experience. Then a subtle change came over their features, a hint of surprise followed by a faint smile. They swallowed and turned to Ava. It is intriguing, the spokesperson remarked, their voice tinged with a mixture of surprise and delight. The flavors are unlike anything we have encountered. And the sensation? Ava smiled in return, relieved that the initial reaction was positive. Would you like to try another? she offered, gesturing towards the table of beverages. The aliens exchanged excited glances before nodding eagerly. Over the course of the next hour, the aliens sampled different types of alcohol under the careful supervision of the colony's scientists. They tried wine, whiskey, vodka, and even some exotic Martian liqueurs crafted from local flora. With each new beverage, their curiosity grew, and they eagerly discussed the flavors and effects among themselves. As the experiment progressed, Ava found herself increasingly fascinated by the aliens' reactions. Despite their advanced technology and knowledge, they approached the experience of alcohol with the wonder of children discovering something new. It was a reminder of the universal human desire for exploration and understanding. Chapter 3 Revelations As the evening wore on, the initial caution gave way to camaraderie. Ava and her team found themselves engaged in lively conversation with the alien delegation, exchanging stories and insights into their respective cultures. The language barrier faded as they used a combination of gestures, expressions, and the colony's AI translation software to communicate. The aliens, it turned out, came from a distant star system known as Volaris Major, their civilization had developed over millennia, mastering advanced technologies and exploring the cosmos in search of knowledge. Yet they had never encountered a species quite like humanity, curious, resilient, and boundlessly creative. We have learned much from your kind today, the spokesperson remarked, their eyes reflecting the soft glow of the Martian sunset filtering through the colony's transparent domes. Your customs, your art your capacity for joy. Ava nodded in agreement, feeling a sense of pride in her species' accomplishments. And we have learned from you as well, she replied warmly. Your perspective, your wisdom, and your openness to new experiences. The spokesperson inclined their head respectfully. Perhaps one day our civilizations will meet again, they mused. Until then, we will cherish this encounter. As the night progressed, the colony came alive with a celebration unlike any other. Humans and aliens mingled freely, sharing laughter and camaraderie over glasses of Martian wine and Valerisian spirits. It was a moment of unity and understanding, bridging the vast expanse of space that separated their worlds. In the days that followed, news of the historic encounter spread throughout the solar system and beyond. Humanity's first contact with an alien species had not been one of conflict or conquest, but of curiosity and cooperation. It sparked a new era of interstellar diplomacy and cultural exchange, paving the way for future alliances and discoveries. As Ava watched the alien vessel depart from Mars, 
carrying with it memories of laughter and friendship, she felt a profound sense of hope for the future. The universe, it seemed, was vast and teeming with possibilities. And perhaps, in the tapestry of stars and galaxies, humanity and the aliens of Valaris Major were destined to meet again. Chapter 4. Reflections Months passed since the aliens' visit to Mars, yet the impact of that encounter continued to resonate throughout the colony and beyond. Scientific journals published papers on the physiology of alien alcohol tolerance, while artists drew inspiration from the otherworldly visitors in their work. The Martian Research Center, once dedicated solely to planetary studies, now hosted seminars on interstellar diplomacy and cultural exchange. For Ava, life had returned to a semblance of normalcy, albeit with a newfound appreciation for the vastness of the cosmos and the potential it held. She continued her duties as commander of the colony, overseeing daily operations and preparing for future expeditions. Yet her thoughts often wandered to that momentous day when humanity and the aliens of Valaris Major had shared a drink under the Martian sky. One evening, as she stood atop a ridge overlooking the colony, Ava reflected on the lessons learned from the encounter. Humanity, she realized, was not alone in the universe. There were other civilizations out there, each with their own stories, dreams, and aspirations. And while the universe was vast and unknown, it was also filled with opportunities for connection and understanding. As she gazed up at the stars, Ava felt a renewed sense of purpose. The journey of exploration and discovery was far from over. Whether on Mars or among the distant stars, humanity would continue to reach out, to learn, and to grow. And perhaps, one day in the not-so-distant future, they would meet their alien friends from Valaris Major again, among the stars, sharing stories and raising glasses in a toast to friendship, curiosity, and the boundless possibilities of the cosmos. Epilogue Years later, historians would look back on the events of that day on Mars as a turning point in human-alien relations. The encounter with the aliens from Valaris Major not only expanded humanity's understanding of the universe, but also deepened their appreciation for the diversity of intelligent life beyond Earth. The scientific community made significant strides in understanding the physiological and cultural implications of introducing aliens to alcohol. Studies conducted on the Valeresians' reaction to various alcoholic beverages revealed intriguing insights into their biology and metabolism. This newfound knowledge sparked collaborations between Martian scientists and their counterparts from other colonies, fostering a spirit of cooperation that transcended planetary boundaries. Artists and storytellers were equally inspired by the encounter. Paintings depicting the luminescent forms of the Valerisians adorned the halls of Martian galleries, while novels and holofilms chronicled fictionalized accounts of interstellar diplomacy and the wonders of encountering alien civilizations. Back on Earth, the news of humanity's peaceful interaction with extraterrestrial beings ignited a wave of both excitement and contemplation. Governments and space agencies redoubled their efforts to explore the cosmos, fueled by the hope of encountering more sentient species like the Valerisians. International conferences on interstellar diplomacy flourished, laying the groundwork for protocols and guidelines for future encounters. For Ava Rivera, the experience left an indelible mark. She continued to serve as commander of the Mars colony, a role that now carried with it the responsibility of representing humanity's first contact in future communications with other alien species. Her leadership and diplomacy became a model for aspiring astronauts and diplomats across the solar system. As the years passed, the colony on Mars thrived, expanding its infrastructure and scientific endeavors. The once barren landscape now supported a growing population of settlers, drawn by the promise of exploration and the opportunity to contribute to humanity's interstellar legacy. And amidst it all, the stars continued to beckon, 
a vast tapestry of possibilities waiting to be explored. Whether on Mars, in distant star systems, or beyond the reaches of known space, the legacy of humanity's first encounter with the aliens of Valaris Major endured as a testament to the power of curiosity, cooperation, and the unyielding spirit of exploration. As historians chronicled humanity's journey into the cosmos, they often looked back on that day on Mars, a day when aliens tried alcohol for the first time, as a pivotal moment in the annals of interstellar history. It was a reminder that in the vast expanse of the universe, the bonds of friendship and the pursuit of knowledge could transcend the boundaries of worlds and civilizations. And so, as the colony on Mars continued to thrive under the watchful eye of Commander Ava Rivera, humanity looked towards the future with optimism and wonder, guided by the lessons learned from their first encounter with beings from beyond the stars.